Hello everybody. I wanted to make a video about what I saw on television. I'm sure you've all seen it too in the news uh, about the the first I'm not sure if she's transsexual or if she's transgender or I don't know if she's in drag, he's in drag, I don't even know what to refer to him, her, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know what's PC anymore, I guess, so let's just use the name that, that this artist is using. Conchita Worst. Conchita Worst. I'd never heard of this person before until they won the Australian Rising Star Contest or some, it was like some kind of one of the singing with the stars or one of those shows along those lines um, which I do not watch but I do watch the news and I caught this and it caught my attention first of all <laughs> the thing that stands out the most is the beard I mean okay if you're going to go transgender or if you're going to go and drag or whatever aren't you gonna like just make it the whole package why have a beard why be the bearded lady from the carnival it's so deliberate and so in your face it, it's just it's really unacceptable this is it's unacceptable it's not it's not proper conduct. I mean, you know, I, I don't judge. I'm not supposed to judge. That's somebody else's job. And we all know whose job that is. So, it's not up to me to pass judgment. This may be one of the nicest people that you've ever met. But, this particular instance is a it's it's an agenda pusher I guess is what I'm trying to say because the new world order and the agenda that the the new system is pushing is all about the destruction of family they want to they want to demolish family unit they don't want any family units they want everybody to be singular consumers and they want everybody to be gay bisexual or acceptant of both which you know I don't care what people do behind their doors if they're adults that's none of my business and I don't judge people by that but a lot of people still do um, you know what God says about this kind of thing uh, I could go into that for about half an hour but I'm sure you don't want a Bible lesson right now I will leave you with some some scriptures that if you are so inclined you can look and see what God has to think about this if you are a person that believes in God anyway Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Conchita Worst. Okay. The song that she won with. Rise Like a Phoenix. We all know what the phoenix is associated with. That's the new world order. The phoenix that rises from the ashes of the old. And this is this is like an Illuminati placement this is them putting a little seed in your head telling you that the New World Order is here and they're the, one, they're the ones that are going to win everything they're the ones that are being honored uh, it's okay to defile yourself and be an abomination and offend your God and offend your fellow man and 
and it's just it's it's awful the way that people are deceived but you know what it's their own fault because they don't take the time to look and study and look into things if people would simply study just a little bit of what they're seeing stop for a, a second every now and then and uh, you know take inventory of what you see people are so busy with their lives they don't stop to see this kind of stuff they just pop it pop it on the radio station or in the CD player or pop in the headphones mp3 all that this is if something goes viral it's overnight it's viral it's BAM it's all over the globe so anyway Mr. or Mrs. Conchita Worst or Mrs. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. I don't know what re what title to refer to this person as. I'm very confused as apparently so is this individual but not as confused. No, I'm not nearly as confused. I can tell you that. Anyway, getting ahead of myself again and I'm digressing. I rarely talk for videos so bear with me. See, this is why I don't talk for videos because I get off on tangents and I go down another conversation road that I didn't mean to turn down and the next thing you know I'm beating a dead horse. So, alright. Conchita Worst. Rise like a phoenix. Rise like a phoenix. Definitely associated with the New World Order and the uh, New Establishment. And she seems to be representation of what their sexual standards are going to be socially, I believe. Well, let's just examine something here real quick. The name Conchita Worst. So, I mean, I, I know kind of, I knew kind of what it meant, but I looked it up anyway. But I want to show you. Uh, here we go on Google Translate. If you type in Conchita with a lowercase c, it will translate into the word pussy. P U S S Y. Conchita is pussy translated to Spanish from English to Spanish okay now let's type in the word worst W U R S T like the sausage that's right you guessed it sausage Worst means sausage. So, and of course that's German. German and Spanish. Mishmashed. Um, it's a hybrid word. But basically, when you say Conchita Worst, you're saying Pussy Sausage. Does that sit right with you? I I feel funny saying Conchita Worst or Pussy Sausage. It's just not right. Let's see. Conchita Worst Wikipedia. Thomas Tom Newart. So that is a man. Not a woman. Born a man. Born 6th of November on 1988. Oh my God. Makes me feel very old. Better known by his drag stage persona. Conchita Worst. But they don't bother to tell you that means pussy sausage. Is an Australian singer who came to international attention when winning the Eurovision Song Contest 2014 in Copenhagen, Denmark, with the song Rise Like a Phoenix. Hmm. Rise.
eyes like a phoenix. Couldn't cheat a worst. So, um, yeah. Next time you're out buying your kids the Conchita Worst record, make sure you tell your kids what Conchita Worst means. And see if you still feel good about getting the record for them. It's, this is just ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. This whole... The whole state of affairs that we're in today. Anyway, I'll close this out for now. I've had enough pussy sausage. I can't eat anymore. If you would like to know uh, what God has to say about this, I would suggest reading 1 Timothy 1.10, which I will read and leave you with. For whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men-stealers, for liars, for perjured persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. Leviticus, which is the law written by Moses, 18.22. Let me read the King James. The King James is always the best one to read. Uh, Right here, very simple, small sentence. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. Period. At the end of that sentence. Um, Leviticus, which is also the book of the law, or in the first five books of the Bible, the books of Moses, the law. Moses was the law, the lawgiver. And also here in Leviticus 2013, King James Bible. If a man also lie with mankind, he lieth with a woman. Both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. If there is a man who lies with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have committed incest. That's not good either. Their blood guiltiness is upon them. If there is a man who marries a woman and her mother, it is immorality. Both he and she shall be burned with fire, so that there will be no immorality in your midst. I mean, it's just, it's all throughout God's Word. He is, he is against, I mean, you know, I don't have a problem with homosexuals because I'm not to judge people. That's what I've learned from God's Word, is not to judge others. We're not, we're not fit to judge others. We can't rationally judge others because... We are in need of judgment ourselves <clears throat> because there is no innocence in the world. So, we are not the judge. God is the judge. And he says, judge ye not, lest ye be judged. So I tried to do that. And I, I tried to keep discernment and judgment separate. And I tried to discern... And through discerning, you use your heart, and that way you can actually judge, not judge, but discern. You can discern good people from bad people, because you don't want to surround yourself with bad people, naturally. That's detrimental to your spiritual development. Anyway, I just had to, uh, I had to stop. I had to hold the phone. Everybody had to stop and hear about pussy sausage. Have a good evening.